Hi everyone, today I'm gonna be walking and taking you through the process of wall wrapping and you'll definitely get the knack of that by the end of that video. So let's start with the wall command. You can create a wall by using the shortcut WA or you can find it over here. So let's go with some kind of a complex wall with a great deal of layers. Let's go with that exterior one with a brick and metal stud. So let's create a wall and uh, uh, let's let's uh, change the, uh, the detail level to find and uh, the visual style to realistic so it'll be easier for us to discern all of the layers and now we can create a, uh, a door over here by using the shortcut dr or you can find it over here let's go with that one so basically what what is the whole point of wall wrapping so um instead of having in, instead of uh, instead of stopping right here and uh, being able to see the exposed edge of that uh, we want actually for example in my case i want that brick to be wrapped and go over here so i want that material to go like that and uh, also i want that gypsum wall to wrap my door so how it can be done in Revit uh, so, uh, so what, what we need to do is to select our wall go to edit type go to edit structure and uh, here actually as you can see uh, Revit has it Revit has some sort of a hierarchy uh, in terms of determining which layers are more important so if you can see our structural our structure structural layer is labeled as a as the first one it means that our structural layer is of uh, paramount importance and that goes for the substrate so it is the second one and so on and so forth uh, so the first thing to to understand uh, is to what layers you want to be wrapped so here we have our brick layer our thermal air layer so I want to, as I, as, I, as I told you, I want that brick to go right here and this gypsum wall, wall um, I want to wrap that door. So how it can be done? Actually, let's uh, check just the, 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 the layers that we want to be wrapped. So let's uncheck. Here, as you can see, we have all of them checked on. So now let's uncheck. Actually, this membr membrane layer is totally negligible because the thickness of it is zero so yeah so we, we've selected the layers that we want to be wrapped and the next part is to understand what is that default wrapping referring to uh, so first of all we have our default wrapping at inserts inserts uh, are your doors and windows and at and at ends actually usually you would have you, you you'll have some you'll have some sort of a closed loop so you would not go with that one so i'm not going to i'm not going to be picking up on that part so let's go with inserts and here you have the option to go with exterior one with interior one and with both so what does that mean here as you can see we have exterior side and interior side so if you want to have only your brick uh, when it comes to wrapping you will go just with the exterior one because that is the exterior side of your wall if you want just to have for example your gypsum wall board you'll go with an interior one because that is your interior side of, of the wall I want to have them both so I'm going to select both go OK go OK and here we go here we have our wrapping and uh, and that's it what you can do by using actually that's pretty much it what you can do by using a, a wall like by setting up your wall now uh, the next part uh, like if you want to step it up a notch like uh, you need to maybe you want to have usually you want to have that the ability to control how far it go uh, how far it can go and uh, just determining 
maybe you want that gypsum wall board to not go there maybe to somewhere over here so how can we have a total control have it how can we have a total control over it so so this is can be this can be controlled by your door by the family of your door so select your door go to edit family uh, go to your go to the plan of your door and here you need to as you can see we have a bunch of these uh, reference planes and uh, what we need to do is to create two reference planes I'm going to be using the shortcut RP or you can find it on this datum panel reference plane let's create two of them I'm going to be explaining everything in depth just in no time so now what you need to do is to if you select your reference plane here as you can see your option your option for wall closure so it's actually determining how far you want to go from here for example or from here so why we uh, so this is the reason why we created two of them so the that one from the that is actually the exterior side and that is the interior side so I'm going to be putting a parameter by so first of all select your reference plane and check that option on wall closure and the same goes for that one and after that you need to put a dimension over here so you can use that to align dimension I'm going to be using the shortcut DI and what you need to do is to hover over your wall uh, hit the tab key select your wall select your reference plane drag it maybe somewhere over here then select your dimension create parameter name that exterior closure uh, create it create that as an instance parameter and click OK the next part is to do the same for that interior side go with DI select hover over your wall hit the tab key select your wall select that reference plane drag it over here select your dimension go to create parameter and label that as an interior closure make it as an instance and go OK now we once we create once we have created these uh, two closures so we have this as a parametric one so now we can load that into the project and control everything so load that into project override the existing version and now as you can see if we select our door here we have these dimension tools we have that exterior closure and interior one so now if I put here some numbers like 80 it will crank up kind of you know it will move up and the same goes with, the, with an exterior closure if I put some maybe 140 there we go maybe 160 or let's put that interior one maybe a little bit a little bit like maybe to 120 there we go so actually I'm not gonna be playing around with that actually you can control that how you want it actually you can select your wall and calculate to which point you need to go and just put some numbers over here and the same goes for for windows actually so this is how you can create wall wrapping uh, by using the wall by using your wall assembly so you you go and uh, check all of the wraps that you want to have you, you need to check the layers that you want to be wrapped and then you need to kind of select uh, where you want that to be wrapped it's on the interior side on, on the interior or on the exterior or on the interior side and then to control that dimension from the uh, from the edge you can control that by uh, by using your family by using the family of your door and that's it that that that's actually pretty much uh, the most important thing to keep in mind is to make sure that you check that option that wall closure so guys that's uh, pretty much it for today and um, thank you for watching and uh, if you find this video useful and informative please subscribe to my channel and uh,
If you have any suggestions for tutorials, please leave them in the comment section below and uh, have a nice day.